good dog? Ah, get it. Uh, uh. Ooh, that felt good. I wonder if I should just. I don't really have to pee, but maybe I should pee beforehand. All right, go pee. Just go. Do it. Yeah. Classy Miss Occupado. Explains why there isn't any more barking. Did you hear me? Ian? 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 Hello? Bathroom is occupied. I came immediately back to you. Gone. Oh, I went to pee. <laughs> that was sad. Well, if you need to pee while we're doing it, you can just be like, I'll be right back. Alright. Alright. You ready? Alright. Get ready anywhere. Ugh, wolf. Hi, James. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> We could, hey, we got a new we, subscriber today. We uh, were at 32. I think, was, I think that was Tim. I don't know why we're th up to 31 again. I don't know who we lost. Still our most well, watched video is John as a tofu boyfriend at almost 100 views. <laughs> it is pretty entertaining. Next one is go my, go my first Ghostbusters one. Weird. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to think of what game to drunkenly play next. I mean, we're drinking um, through the Resident Evils. Like I said, man, some of those Resident Evils, I'm like, this is genuinely some of the funniest shit ever. Mm, drunken playthrough. Something that's not too long or too serious, because the first instinct was uh, a long time. <laughs> no, I'm probably going to do um, that's my, my yearly Castlevania 4 playthrough. Start drunk. Don't drink while you're playing. Just start it drunk, see how good I can do compared to normal. Yep. Oh man, I'll do terrible. See, I was gonna do, I was gonna start not drunk and then drink every every uh, boss beaten every time I die. Cause I can beat the game without dying. But, so yeah. to make it more a challenge, also every boss beaten I have to drink. Uh, there you go. So then if I start messing up, it just goes downhill real fast. Cause I can beat that game in like an hour. Did you know the SNES Classic was um, came packaged with Super Castlevania? Yes, I did. Is that awesome? It is awesome. That game's fucking great. It's honestly probably my favorite Castlevania game, even though it might not be the best Castlevania game. Yeah, I mean, son of a bitch! Oh shit! I wasn't even paying attention to the slug there. All right. As soon as I kill these other guys, right, I gotta fight. Figure out how to. Well, it's Castlevania 4, Super Castlevania, it's just a oh, remake of... Of Castlevania of Lost. Yeah. With Mode 7. Mode 7! As Jonna likes to say. Uh, it's awesome. So, I was thinking about this song, because I've been thinking about because, you know, we, we put out the video of our Super Nintendo songs. I don't know if you've seen that one. I don't know if you watched even the first one. I watched the first one, yeah. I was... The NES one? Hold on. Hey, where do I want to go? Yeah. I want to go the way that's not on my map. Nate has a slight dog problem, so at times he may have to 
step out momentarily to deal with said problem. Hmm. No, we just have a lot of dogs here, and sometimes they bark. It's usually about this time when the master comes home. Where are my dogs at? Bark for me. <laughs> oh. But, uh... No, we're good. good. So you watched the Nintendo one? Yeah. You should watch the Super Nintendo one. I think you'd appreciate it. I, I, I intended to. I don't know why. I just kind of... I mean, I saw one was posted. I was like, oh, I should watch it at some point. Yeah. I was idly, like, going to ask to join you. Because you guys asked if any of us wanted to join the Nintendo one. And no one took you up on it. And I was yeah. like, oh, maybe I'll join the Super Nintendo one. But I had no idea when you guys did it. Yeah, we're, thinking of, we're thinking of doing a second Super Nintendo one. Not right now, but later on. Because there's more games that we... I'm down, because oh, you guys didn't touch Secret of Evermore. Because I asked about that specifically. That's because neither of us are really big fans of it. Uh, it doesn't matter. Secret of Evermore is, um, Jeremy Soul's first game. I think but, uh, it is. But, uh... He's the, compo he's the composer for, uh, the Elder Scrolls series, and a whole crap ton of other games. But, uh, I was, th I was thinking about it, because I was, I was thinking, because we're thinking our Genesis ones next. We're gonna go Genesis then PS1. I could join Genesis as well. Um, but I was thinking about PS1 and like every game I want is a is a working designs game, and I'm like, man, why did I love working designs in the PS1 era? What? How does I open this door? Um. Any thoughts? Fire? It's obviously got to be a summon. Joey? <laughs> like, it, it obviously has to be a summon. Yes. Yeah. Is this still a way we, you can go? Is that even a door? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. a door, see? Yup! Called it. The, the, the Dude King. You said Joey. Yeah. yeah, well, I said fire at first. You did say fire, so I'll give. Okay, we'll give you that W, Nate. Okay. Yeah, but uh, but anyway, so like I was thinking about the PS1 one because I'm yeah. kind of almost done with my list of Genesis ones. But PS1, there's so many games that weren't like super popular, but that were really good. And most yeah, there are a lot of games. Yeah, most good. of my list has kept going back to working designs games, and I was like, God, why was working design so good? Yeah. And I was like, man, I should do a video because I know John has only played like one or two, but I played every working designs game. Yeah. What else is there? Um, Arc the Lad series, the Bol both Lunars. Um, yeah, no. Alundra. That's that's my big one right there. What? That's my big one right there. And I was like, man, if I could find someone else who also would love to talk about working designs, I should do a video about that. Because Jonathan talked about one game he liked. That I could do a whole thing about working designs, man. But I think you've only played Alundra, right? Yeah. Didn't play Arc the Lad. Didn't play uh, Lunar. Um, God, there's so many of these guys. Get them. They're pretty Dude, great. King. What? Uh, they're pretty great. Shut up. Get it? <laughs> Good great armor. I get it. I don't like it, done? but I get it. I didn't see it. Have you stolen from me yet? Do you want me to uh, Yeah, yeah, I stole, from, I stole from them already. Yeah. They dropped carbon steel. Man, this way is way off the beaten path. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll see what it comes to, I guess. That's the plan. Hey, you know what one of my PS2 ones is gonna is, I'm tempted to do? Which I mm. think you'll really appreciate, because I'm thinking even farther ahead of PS2. Uh, Shinobi. I fucking love that game. I know you do! <laughs> That's why I feel like you would really appreciate that. You I was should like, tell this, you should share the story of what happened. With me and Shinobi. I don't remember. Oh. So you could share the story right now. So, I, uh, Shinobi for PS2 was highly anticipated, but it did not do so well. It was relatively calm, but had some works that uh, people didn't quite agree with. It had uh, a lot of issues. One of them, one of them being it, it was insanely challenging, and sometimes for the wrong reason, like, you know, checkpoints and 
restarting boring, level. Boring level design. Yeah, but that being said, I I don't know what it was about that game in particular that I loved. So Me and I they played, both loved it. I played a crap ton of it. So I went over to Ian's um, one of Ian's apartments because he was in a different one when I met up when he moved, and he was actually with Joey at the time. And I, um, you know, what? I'm gonna go back. I was like, oh, holy shit! You you have uh, Shinobi. Uh, you have Shinobi. So I, he's like, yeah. I'm like, can I can I play it? He's like, yeah. So I sat down and played it, and almost beat it. Like, oh yeah, doesn't that one sitting? <laughs> yeah, in that one sitting. So that's what that made. That's what made that funny. And so uh, Ian periodically brings that up, um, mentioning you found out one time, and th like years later. This is years ago. Years later, Ian would like post on um, my Facebook or something like, "Oh, remember this song?" The first level. Yep, and the uh, boss music. Yep, the first level song is called Transfiguration. I'll never forget that. It's weird you remember that. I told you that's my superpower, man. Remembering Shinobi songs. Re no, the game music as a whole. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, you couldn't remember the story, but you remember the name of the first song of that kid. Yep. <coughs> but yeah, no, that game was fun. It definitely had its problems, though. Oh yeah, but the reason he brings it up as far as music is concerned, uh, it had phenomenal music, weirdly enough. Yeah, it had really good music. One of the funniest things about Shinobi is that the last boss is either super hard or super easy. Super easy, yep. Because like, if you could build up that, uh... If you could build up that, uh... Meter... This, yeah. Like, each of your hits did like a quarter of his life. It was nuts. I actually think, um... I was working on the different modes when I, when I stopped playing it, like as in I was playing through the different characters. Oh, really? Oh yeah, yeah I forgot, it has uh, the... Um, oh, who is it that's in that game? Um, they made a has... game about her, the girl from it. Oh yeah, there is... Um, she's actually not in the game, um, but it was like a spiritual... I don't know if it was a direct sequel. Oh hey. I didn't play the sequel. Oh. I, I like that comfy office chair. Chair explanation. Leather shit made from real le real leather for a real big wig, symbol of a boss, hotshot, or top man. I'm sitting in one right now. I'm neither a hotshot nor a top man. Can I make anything new? Yeah, no, you had. So you played Hotsuma, right? That was the main character. And his weird. His brother. Uh, Munitsune, you get to play as him, and then you could go through I and play as the... you could play as his brother. And then you could go through and play as uh, Joe Musashi himself. I forgot about that too! Yeah, he had like, um, he didn't have the sword, but he had infinite shirt. You had to play so different. Oh, okay, yeah, because it's, it's the original Shinobi, Joe Musashi. Mm -hmm. That He was like a million shurikens and no, uh, you barely ever attacked with your blade. That's something people don't realize about the original Shinobi games. You used your shurikens a bunch compared to. Oh like... yeah, uh, and uh, I think it's. Wow, that Shinobi... movie's really good. <laughs> the uh, spinning move. Yeah, the. Uh... <laughs> Dude, that thing is awesome. That's pretty sweet. I like that a lot. Um. Anyways, I think it was Shinobi Three that like stole a bunch, basically. Uh, like there's Batman, you fight Batman, Spider-Man, Godzilla. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's or right. You fight Man Bat, I think it is. But it's Whoa, cool did Batman. you see that? I missed it. Oh, they just X-crossed me, man. Nice. Like, literally they just pulled like the frog and Chrono X-cross. Uh, what was I say? Uh, speaking of music, um, X-crosses is also in, uh... And Chrono Cross, and Chrono Cross was uh, had great music. Chrono Cross probably has some of the best music in the game period. That's that's our very biased opinion, and we're sticking to it. It's not biased; it's just fact. 
that that's our biased opinions. I mean, because I think it is. It's, it's just right. <laughs> that room, that, that room was kind of jump change. Yeah, that room was jump change. Where is this taking me? I'm genuinely curious. And the one thing I don't understand why I didn't ask her, why are the candles purple? Oh, it's taking you here because there's more chair and there's a little... Is that a whoopee cushion? Oh, side note. <laughs> I don't, I can't. You can't. Um, I can't hear the game, by the way. Why? No, I don't know. I, I, uh, the sound went off. Weird. Weird. You missed it making a fart sound. Damn. Oh well. Hilarious cushion. What's the details on that one? Uh, give me a second. Alright. Well, we fixed that little problem, and now Nate can yeah, hear yeah. everything. That's good. Hear what exactly? You can hear this. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> uh. Good for a laugh or two. Makes a peculiar noise when sat upon. And there's just a random chest in here. Open it, Jonathan. Ooh. Oh, well, that's useful. That is useful. I think that that's all in this area. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now to head back to the secondary off the path. Oh, God. I, this was off the path of off the path, man. Although, how much map is that now? 66%. Okay, so... Uh, I'm sure James wouldn't mind if we skip past this. <laughs> it doesn't look like there's many enemies, to be fair. Well, I'm, I'm, actually just, you. I'm actually gonna run past nah, these guys. So you're the one playing and James was the one watching. <laughs> actually, I want to kill the pigmen because they give me ceramics. Oh, yeah, that's right. The Josu pigmen. And let's be real, with, with that sword, you're kind of cutting them down pretty easily. The Josu pigmen. Yeah, but Shinobi, great game. Yeah, no. If you haven't played it, um, you might want to skip past it, but if you did play it, it's amazing. I don't know how you would ever go back to it now at this point. I don't think you'll ever find it anywhere. It didn't do well sure. enough to ever get, like, on, like, a... I'm sure you can find it on... I'm sure you can find it on Amazon. Alright. I am gonna put, go past this. See you later, fuckers! I don't know why the idea of a bunch of, like, especially younger people going back to play PS2 games cracks me up. Oof. It's forty two ninety nine on Amazon. Woof! <laughs> really? Yeah. What the hell is that? Uh, oh, no, that's 42 years, never mind. Uh, two ninety nine. Oh, it's a teleport. Well, that Those was are... a... That was quick. You know what I'm gonna do? Uh, right? Used it goes. New it goes for forty two ninety nine. Uh, used it goes uh, for three bucks. Ah, this is the last one. It looks like. Ooh. To space. How does this work? Explain this to me. Uh, I have no clue. Now that I don't really need him anymore. Uh what? Best music in the game? Oh, yeah. This game gets you early with the good music. The first two areas have fantastic music. Come on in. What can I get you today? Let's put do you like? Joseph away. Thanks as always. Let's do Thanks as always. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Koopapa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take Joey. You took good care of it. Take care. Alright, there we go. Because Joey is more fighty. Yeah. Actually, nah, don't need to save. Famous last words, right? I think you do need to save. Too late. Back to space! Do you think the Skeleton Union worked on these elevators? Oh yeah, everything. Everything was built by the Skeleton Union. Oh, okay. Everything Dracula, Wait. he has to, he has a contract with them. 
That's true. And it's hey, a... Dr. Acula. <laughs> and, it's and they're a... unionized, and it's really hard to get out of that kind of contract. Exactly, it's a really, 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 uh, really good contract. And he didn't, he didn't, kind of didn't really care. He was like, I think his wife had just died or something. Yeah. No, it was right before, he, while, he was, while he was with Lisa, so he was like really happy and everything was going good in his life. And he's like, eh, whatever, sure. She's like, th she was like, these skeleton folks seem like good peoples. <laughs> I don't know why she has that accent, but she does. She's like, Dracky. <laughs> Dracky. <laughs> you should pay the union its money. They's got families too. <laughs> I don't know why Lisa sounds like that now. She sounds like fucking Peg Bundy. What the? Um, okay, so season that's... two, man. Is he attacking the fairy? He is. He is. He's poisoned, too. That's probably why he's attacking the fairy. He's mad at being poisoned. Anyways. Season two, man. Oh yeah, I'm excited. I'm, I'm good. They better have Grant. That's all I'm saying. The surprise no one expects, it has Hector in it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. Because this is about that time. It's, it, it's, it's the, the same right time frame. Fight. Yeah, this is right after Castlevania 3. That's why Trevor's in this. Yeah. It's in the right timeline, so yeah. Oh shit. That would be funny if, if Hector's in it. But he refuses to fight or something. No, he's an antagonist, but they don't kill him, and he just, like, fine, whatever, and he just leaves. Oh, that's true. He's not a protagonist. I forget what happened, like, someone he loved died, and that's why he left? Yeah. Actually, you can find the story. Uh, you can find, by the way, if you're missing Hector's story, um, you can find it in comic form. Really? Yeah. I didn't know oh, was a you comic didn't know book. this. Oh. Yeah. There's a lot of comics, actually. When I was looking up videos for Castlevania lore to brush up on my Castlevania lore, um, which is something you should all do. Right. Uh, How does I steal from you, Slogra? I discovered that there were a lot of castles. There were characters that only existed in comics. Oh, there were characters that once existed and no longer do. Sophia Belmont. Ripperonis. No, I have one of the Castlevania comics. I can't remember which it is. The one where Sophia sucks. Ah. Uh, I'm kidding. I know you wanted her like to be a main character. And she does fit, frankly. I don't. There's no reason they had to take her out of the canon. Yeah. I mean, they took like Circle the Moon and put it back out, and then they put it back in. Yeah. So why I... couldn't they put her back in? The big thing with it is that they didn't want there to be the 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 speculation that the Belmonts are related to Dracula that came from her games. Oh, uh, game. okay. I mean, don't... it would be kind of cool though. By the way, listen. what? White dragons, every game. Every game. In Lament of Innocence, they're not even an enemy. They're just like a terrain feature that attacks you. You can't do anything about them either. You can't attack them. They just exist and just shoot fireballs. Or lasers. Sorry, they shoot lasers in that game. But yeah, in Sophia's game, it's hinted that her and Alucard are totally, uh, totally smashing. Oh. And uh, at the end of the game, the best ending is she has she carrying a baby. Mm, okay, that's if you ask me, actually a pretty cool feature. But I can see why they. Uh... See, I think that would be interesting if, like, the Belmont. The reason that they're powerful is that they're related. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's your buddy. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Which one is this? Uh, Gaibon. Yeah, Gaibon. Where's, is it? Yeah. The I didn't, I didn't the see his name one. pop up. Slogar is the I other didn't one. See his, I didn't see his name pop up. That's why I was confused. Gaibon. There he is. Yeah, that is my buddy Gaibon. He's just going to pick you up and shake you. Like the best of them. Like a British nanny. 
Jesus Christ. I made that joke already some point in the past. I know, and I reacted the same way, probably. How do I steal from you? All these things I want to steal from and they just die. Um, when it charges to do a ripple beam attack, jump at him and you will get 50 gold. That's it? Yeah. Well, at least there was a chest here. Spirit of food. Really? <laughs> okay. The game's trolling you. The game was trolling me, you see that? Although, you know what that Spirit of Fuji does? Yeah, but it's a. You're looking for one, though. I was. To make a sus. So maybe it knows at this point. What was that? What was what? Oh, there we go. I was looking up at the uh, the first weapon you crafted, and you went by real fast. Spirit of Fuji and a sports jersey. What could that make? Ah, uh, that's a good question. Probably something really stupid. Where do you get the sports jersey? From a sports kit. Oh, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, I get right? Whatever. Okay, let's keep going this way. Hey, hey, what? 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 Um. Are, are you okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like... are, are you okay? Oh, really? Do you see where I am? Yeah. Are we supposed to be here? No, I guess this is another shortcut between areas. Hilarious. That's cool. I've found a few of those, remember? Are you said he's yes. 50, 50 gold? Yeah. No, I need that! That's my face! How in love are you, Jana? 40. Time for Joey.